Hey y'all. Welcome to tonight's crafts and combos. I am glad to see that some of you are already here because I am hoping that tonight's live will be not as long as our usual lives. Um, I don't have many crafts. Well, I don't have any crafts really planned for me to do tonight on live. I have some orders, some Etsy orders that I need to get out. And I was going to pack them up with y'all, but um, I just want to talk to y'all tonight. And um, I have some other stuff that I'm working on. But tomorrow is graduation day for a few of my seniors. And somehow, y'all, I am a role marker. So graduation is 9 a.m. tomorrow. And so I have to be to the school by at least 730 because the kids are going to be there at 8. So, and I'm tired. I got to tell y'all how messed up today went at school. I just, I got to tell y'all what happened to me today. But it didn't just happen to me, it happened to everybody. Hi, Kim Designs. Hey, Shayna. I hope all is well. Hi, Tam Tam. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Marilyn. The computer is a little far from me today because I the way that I have it set up today, but Hi, Darina. Hola. Hola, chica. Como estas? Hi, Alia. Hi, Makia and Erica and Miss Niera, 0930. Hi, A Creations. Hey, Roy. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Charmel and Marquita. So, yeah, y'all. Oh, my goodness. So, we have now about three more days of school. Next week, Monday through Wednesday. But the seniors graduate tomorrow morning. And I don't know if you, wherever you, you all live, like how the school systems work. But high school here... We usually have early release on the last few days of school. But as y'all know, like how everything has been going on, things have been a little bit strange and some kids have been in school, some kids have not, the time school starts. It's just kind of all over the place. Today was supposed to be an early release day. Hold on, let me see who am I missing? before I get into my story, because oh, this is why I'm really not that prepared because I kind of factored in the fact that I would be leaving school early, I'd come home, maybe have something set up, and then, but I'm, I'm, it'll be too rushed for me to do that and to get, get to the graduation in the morning. Hi, Billy. Hi, Douglas. And Elizabeth and hey Zenovia, girl, I'm not calling you by your screen name. I know your name now. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Dee Dee and Yvonne. So I had all these plans, and I'm so happy because I was gonna actually drop a cap and gown off to one of my students who forgot to take it home on her last day. And Thank God. I don't know what made her want to come to school today, but she came to school today. And so that took a lot of um, pressure off of just me having to get home because I was going to go. It was, it was a, it's, it's nowhere near my house, but I wanted to drop it off so that she would have it. Hey, hey, Kimber. Hi, Mary. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Yvonne. Y'all yeah, going to get through this story. So going through the day, la, 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 because I don't know if any of you are teachers, but those last few days of school, minus the stress of turning in lesson plans and completing checklists, and honestly, we haven't did that yet, but just that stress, usually, you know, the last few days, you look forward to the last few days of school because not much is really, really going on. Y'all, I thought I was leaving school today at 1130. 
my kids thought that they were leaving. Well, y'all know that I don't have any kids on campus. They are all virtual. Oh, dismissal was supposed to be at 11.30. Do you know that at 11 o'clock over the loudspeaker, administration gets on and they're like, um, attention all staff and students. And I, I already knew the way that it sounds. So I, like, I immediately started listening because I don't know if you guys have ever been inside of a school when that loudspeaker comes on, but sometimes I just can't hear what it's saying. I just don't understand. I don't, sometimes I just don't understand the words that are coming out. Hey, Sherry. Hi, Brittany from Illinois. Listen, Marilyn, we get out of school at 1130. 11 o'clock, they come over the loudspeaker and they're like, oh, because of state regulation or state numbers or the time that the kids, I, all I heard them say, honestly, I didn't even hear the reasoning. Today will be a full day. At 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I saw the light and the light was taken away. I was I was so thrown off. It was just a hot mess today. And so I'm even more thrown off now because yeah, it's a hot mess. Hi, Lori. Hey, MJ. Oh, Miss Scorpio. Hi, Angela and Coretta and Sherry. Hey. So yeah. So Elizabeth, the same thing happened. But why, why get our hopes up like that? And then at 11 o'clock, 30 minutes before dismissal, you tell us that it's a, a full day. Oh, my kids were so upset. They were so, so, so upset that they had to stay online with me. It was, it was crazy. Hey, Brandy. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, Willie. Hi, A. Bernal. So that's, that was my day. And so I'm just so thrown off. And of course, to deal with that stress, I had to stop and get me a sweet tea from Dunkin' Donuts. Christy, listen, my para was like, oh, Miss Wilson, I will see you on Monday because I, I, people have plans. Like, you don't do that on a Friday to someone. She was like, I was like, bye, I understand. See you Monday, enjoy. See you on Monday. But guess what? Who who did I miss? I Edna and, no, well, I already said, Christy, you understand my frustration, girl. You understand it. But y'all, other than that, life is good. And I feel great. I'm just, I'm just a little behind because of that. Because stuff that I could should have did yesterday, and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna get off work early, and I'll have time. That kind of threw me off. But I can't wait to go tomorrow to see. I have about three students, three of my students who will be graduating, and I can't wait to see them graduate. They are super, super excited. So it's all good, but. They should be ashamed of themselves. It's a hot mess. Hi, Mickey. I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. Mickey, you know I need my sweet tea. I needed it because I was so stressed out today. Well, I wasn't stressed out today, but just that change, it, it just threw me all off. Yep, I agree, Elizabeth. I agree. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Catherine. So... Today, we're gonna to get into the giveaway. We're not going to be on for too long, okay? So don't worry. We are going to um, get into the giveaway in a few minutes. And I've already selected, I've already, I selected the winners from commentpicker.com, but I am going to, um, I am going to have an additional giveaway for a few of the items. So for, I can't even remember what it is. Okay, so for the ink, I am going to give away another set of ink and honestly speaking, sublimation paper. And y'all know I love both of those. The ink, because it is my ink. And I love how it prints and the color. And also 
my honesty speaking sublimation paper. So whoever wins that, all you have to do is tell me what size paper you want. I didn't want to assume. And if you have like if you have a 1500 or 7720 or 7820, any of the larger printers or wide format printers, I want to give you the option of getting the 13 by 19. So if you don't have one of the larger ones, I would probably suggest getting the eight and a half by 14. Let's see. Let's see what I'm missing. What am I missing? So that's it for the ink. So we're going to actually have two winners. One that I'm going to pick from the live comments. And um, yeah. One I've already picked and one I'm going to pick from the live comments. And then I will also be giving away another, another Cricut mini press. So I have an extra Cricut mini press that I forgot that I had. And I actually got it from um, Cricut. They gave it to me, but I already have the mini press. Y'all know I use my mini press all the time. So I am going to give it away because it is just going to collect dust and when y'all could use it and love it too, because I absolutely love my Cricut mini press. It does a lot for me. And also, um, so a lot of y'all, listen guys. Okay. So I have this is what I have going on because I rarely like actually say exactly what I have going on. The most that y'all hear me kind of talk about is our Facebook group. And if you are not a member of the Facebook group, make sure that you go on Facebook and join Craftable Things on Facebook. We, um, I love, I love our Facebook group and there's so many people, everybody's so helpful. And I really, really appreciate that because I, throughout the daytime, during school hours, I am missing. I may hop on at my lunchtime or maybe if I have a break, which I have, my break is my planning. But truthfully, I don't really have time to be on um, social media throughout the day. I don't have, not that I, I, I don't have, I can't because I'm usually pretty much, um, I'm hands on with my kids and I help a lot around the school. So I don't have time, but I see like by the time I get on there, y'all are answering or the Facebook group, they're answering all the questions. So it's pretty awesome. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, what else? Oh, and I have my craftable things Etsy shop and my dynamic ink um, or print Etsy shop. I am in the process of getting my website going. I have the domain. I just have not really set anything up yet. And so this summer, that's what I have planned. And y'all, I can't wait for my Glowforge to get here because I can't wait to mess something up because I'm sure that I will be messing some things up. Hi, Kathy. And so many of you, hi, Patricia. So many of you here now. Hi, Kenya. Hey, Eunice. Sorry, y'all, I'm just rambling and I'm missing you guys. Thank you for watching, MJW. Y'all, I love trying things out. So I love testing to see if something works or if it doesn't work. Now, I put up a video the other day, and it was the car magnet video. So there were a few things. I, I just wanted to be super, super cautious when I did that video because I was not sure. That was my very first time. Well, the, the picture that I posted in our Facebook group, that was my first time doing it. And so the second time I did it on camera, that was my second time actually doing it. So there are some things with that that you may be able to get away with. So I didn't want to try um, pressing the laminate into the car magnet because I, I had never done it before. And at that time, I only purchased three. Of course, when that first one came out really good, I went and purchased a whole bunch more. So 
it's possible that you might be able to laminate directly onto the car magnet. I don't think it messes up the magnet because I don't know if, if you have ever subbed onto some of that MDF wood that has the magnet on the back. You sub, no, you don't. So there's a sticker on those, you don't sub onto that. I'm, now I'm kind of piecing it together. So you put the magnet on the back. And so you, you sub on MDF wood and then there's adhesive on that magnet and you peel it off and then you put it back on after you sub. So I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I, Y'all know I'll try something. I don't mind. Hi, LaTanya. I am, I'm going to do a video on this. So y'all, I love my little tumbler that... I made with this ice topper. I just wanted to show you guys. It's actually removable. So I did a removable one, and I have magnets on, on here. But I just wanted to show you guys, if you want to make your own, like, acrylic base, if you want to um, make your own acrylic base, I use these car coaster molds to make it. And I just want to kind of show you the difference. I don't know if you can see the thickness. So this mold gets really, really thick. And so what I usually do is I just pour kind of like half of the mold because you don't need, this is too thick to go on top of the tumbler. So yeah, but I will, I'll do one. Um, I'm actually doing one now, speaking of that, but I'm doing it a little differently. Hold on a second. Let me see if I'm missing anybody. Listen, these are kind of addictive. So this one is, of course, subbed. Oh, that one subbed. I didn't have it in on the magnet. That one subbed. But this one I started doing, um, and I just haven't finished it. But I am doing a video on this one. And this is, I painted the cup, of course, and I um, glittered these stripes. I'm trying to go with, like, a strawberry lemonade theme. and But then when I did it, I'm like, it's pink and yellow for strawberry lemonade, but then that that um, strawberry on top is so bright red. Like, how is that going to to really gel together? But that's what I got going on now. So one is coming. I am in, actually in the process of making that video. Y'all, these videos sometimes take like a few days, especially the epoxy ones. They take a few days to um, actually record and then edit. Yeah, it takes a little bit. So art resin. Kimber, art resin. I actually have some art resin. I do. Thank you. I will I will make sure. I have so many different resins, but I do have art resin. Yes, Sherry. So if you guys don't know, some of y'all in, in the chat, like some of... Listen, I visit several of your pages. I only feel... I feel that it's only right for me to show you all support the way that you guys show me support. And so I have visited some channels. I am subscribed to a lot of y'all's channels. And let me just say, y'all need to check some of some of these channels out. So Shayna has her own channel and it's Shayna Krause and it is about sewing, embroidery. It's about crafting and she does a few collabs well, she does a lot of collabs with other creators creators with a k she does with a lot of creators so i would definitely suggest checking her channel out and if you want to get crafts and motivation crafts and just inspiration and like just a good word check out soul deep designs by sherry you will not be disappointed. Like you will not be disappointed at all. Hey, Sin. Hey, girl. Hey. Thank you for coming by. And also, check out T-shirt chick. Sin. She does. Sin does all types of stuff. Like she's into screen printing, um, sublimation. She does all types of things, and she has some. I have these little machines. She has the major, major, major machines. So definitely check out her channel. You will learn a lot from her. 
<laughs> yep, 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 yep. Listen, it's it gets so addictive. Crafting is super, super addictive. It is a lot. Am I missing? And of course, y'all know. Oh, Patricia, glitter this. Should I glitter the strawberry pink? Because that's my problem. Like glitter, like it's the pink, and then it's the red. Because anytime I think of strawberry lemonade, I'm thinking more so of like that, like pinkish. But that's pink lemonade. Maybe I'll just do a pink lemonade cup. I don't know, y'all. I'm a hot mess, and I have no idea half the time what I'm doing until it's done. Oh, charming. So to do epoxy tumblers without having to turn it? Oh, no. I don't know. There's something I don't, I've never used crystal lac, but I don't know if that's an option, but I think you still have to kind of turn it. What happens is that it's, it's kind of evening out as it turns so that you can get a smooth finish on it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to, I don't, only way to do a tumbler that I know of without having to um, turn it is just using regular, maybe the stainless steel or acrylic tumblers and putting vinyl on it or sublimation. You do not have to turn these tumblers for hours with um, sublimation. That's probably the only, only Thing that I could really, really think of. Oh, and y'all don't forget, y'all know. Okay, so I don't know if I told you guys that this is the Michael's tumblers. So remember those Michael tumblers that I, we got, and I got a few of them. Well, I got a lot of them actually, and they come in handy for like gifts and things like that. But we subbed onto that Michael's tumbler. This is usually white. It doesn't sub, the colors are not vibrant. So it's more like a muted type of color. Now the color is there, but it's not as bright as um, when we sub onto true sublimation tumblers. So that's this cup. This is one of the Michaels ones. This is one of the Michaels tumblers. Does sublimation have to be replaced? No, sublimation doesn't need to be replaced. Like the, the actual product, it doesn't have to be replaced. Like this last, I have... I have sublimation cups that I've had for years, so it doesn't have to be um, replaced. Hey, Liz. Yeah, let's see. Have to turn. Yeah, yeah. So, try honestly. Sublimation is really, really quick. It's designing takes the most time but to get your image to go onto your tumbler or your cup or whatever it doesn't take that long at all to get that done it doesn't take long at all all right guys so i am going to start oh wait was there anything else that i wanted to tell you don't forget get don't forget to check out the best uni and uh, honestly speaking or silaholics y'all know that i do a lot of cricket crafts. Well, mostly sublimation now, but Cricut is my go-to. And sometimes y'all ask me questions about sublimation, but I don't, not so like y'all, sometimes y'all ask me questions about si silhouette. I don't know anything about silhouette. And I've only used the silhouette design software a few times. And not only for me to feel comfortable telling you guys like what to do, how to do it, and that sort of thing. So Shakia at Silaholics Anonymous, she is an expert on all things silhouette cameo. She has like a thousand cameos and she can help you. So check out her channel too. Shayna, thank you, Shayna. So did you see, so Sin, who is t-shirt chick, check her out too. She has, she said that sublimation is not coming off even with bleach. So think about it. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the bleached shirts that are bleached and then sublimated. It doesn't come off. It does not come off. You can, you can sub your shirt first 
and then bleach it and bleach around and bleach on top, spray your bleach on top of the part that is sublimated. And guess what? The, the shirt's gonna fade, but that color is not going to fade. That color is going to come through. And then that's how you actually see your, your design. So sub is, is permanent. Sub is pretty, pretty permanent. Liz, I saw you starting to learn to sew. Girl, I'm about to check you out because Liz also has a, a YouTube channel and she is um, sewing now. And so y'all know that I'm a professional seamstress and I just have a few things that I, I need to learn so that I could be like a sensei of sewing. Well, I have a lot of things that I need to learn, but Liz, I'm gonna learn with you, girl. I'm going with you. So we are going to get ready and get started because I don't, um, y'all know I got to go to this graduation and uh, happy about the graduation. Still uh, trying to get myself together. Oh, the sublimation ink and the printer. Um, It doesn't really, I don't think it really goes Bad. They say that there's a shelf life of a year. So once you have it, there's supposed to be a shelf life of a year. But I, I think that's just something that we say. I just, I, I just think that's because I've had sublimation ink and it's, it's still good after a year. It's okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's what they say, Miss Scorpio. Oh, Miss Scorpio, my daughter's a Scorpio. Woof. OMG. Hi, Vivian. Sublimation is so addictive. It's so addictive. And because it's 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 quick. It's not like when when you're doing um shirts. Oh, y'all, I also have like 30 shirts that I need to do. And I have some yard signs, you know, the letter yard signs that I have to make. So I have all this chloroplast on my floor. If you guys saw it, you would be like, uh-uh. You need to clean that up. You need to clean that up. All right, guys. So we are going to get started with the winners that I already chose. And these winners are from, were chosen from cometpicker.com. Y'all know I usually use Comet Picker. And for the live portion of the giveaway or the drawing, I will be using um, Nightbot, which I've used before. Again, remember this giveaway is only for US residents. However, in the future, I'm planning to make sure that my giveaways are for all subscribers. So the first prize was the, let me go over here and see. If I missed your question or comment, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't, uh, I've been trying to, to look and talk at the same time, trying to multitask, but y'all know when I multitask, something usually ends up upside down when I'm talking to y'all and I'm talking, showing y'all me pressing something and then it just ends up upside down somehow, often, but we are going to, hi Magnolia, we are going to get ready and announce the first winner, and so I tried to, I because I knew time was going to be not good for me today, I went ahead and I set it up, but don't leave after I've set the last winner because we are going over. If you're just joining us now, we will be having three live drawings for the for Dynamic Ink and Honestly Speaking Sublimation Paper, also for a Cricut Mini Press and another one-to-one -one session with me. I think I missed that part because I started talking and talking and talking and nobody stopped me and was like, girl, you completely went off track. But I also have my personal vlog channel, which I'm developing that. It's still kind of in its like beginning stages, but it is my vlogging site. Sometimes I go to Five Below. A lot of times I go to Five Below and do shopping hauls on there. I may tell y'all how I'm feeling that day. 
and or I may take you on like whatever I'm doing for that day. I would love if you guys would join me there. I do plan on kind of expanding that a little bit to be more um, not educational, but just um, giving tips of different things that I have going on or that you may be interested in. I always get people who ask me about how should they start a YouTube channel? What should they do? How should they market themselves? I get questions about Etsy, like how to develop Etsy, how to get merchandise and how to sell. And that, you know, that's, I think I'm going to incorporate some things on that, but I just want to be me on that channel. So that's, that's, that's it. All right, so let's get into the giveaway. And I just want to thank y'all for us getting 20,000 subscribers. And I really, really appreciate it. I know that there's so many other crafting channels out there and there's so much information out there. And I'm glad that I am one of the channels that you all decide to stop by and see what I got going on, what I have to say. I really, truly, truly appreciate it. The other day when I was driving, I just thank God so much because I'm really, I'm super, super introverted. It doesn't seem like it, but I am. And this has really changed me. This has really changed who I am. I'm not afraid. And I just want to thank all of you for being so encouraging and so kind well everybody's not kind all the time but for the most part all of you are super super kind and i truly truly appreciate it it feels like some of y'all it feels like i know y'all it feels like i i know y'all and we've been at this now for july will be a year that i july 1st is my did my first youtube video and i am thankful for each and every one of you. All right, so let's drum. Is that what a drum roll says? Hold on, guys. All right, so let's see what we got going on. All right, so the first winner of the Dynamic Ink and Honestly Speaking Sublimation Paper and if you guys are interested in Honestly Speaking, check out Honestly Speaking's YouTube channel and on Honestly Speaking's website, okay? So it is ran by my dear friend, Shakia, and she is super knowledgeable about silhouette, crafting, sublimation, like all things, okay? All things. So our first winner for the ink and the Honestly speaking, sublimation paper is Kathy Fugate. I think I'm saying that right. Kathy, if I'm not, I'm so sorry, but congratulations. And for all winners, make sure that you either contact me on Facebook through our Facebook group, Craftable Things, or I am going to put up my email address at the end so that you guys can email me and let me know, like, sis, send me my stuff, okay? So congratulations, Kathy. You are going to get Dynamic Ink. And when you email me, please let me know what size sublimation paper you would like to be sent to you, okay? All right, our next winner is going to be for the convection oven. So I use a Hamilton Beach extra large rotisserie convection oven. And I love that oven. It's not the fanciest of ovens. It doesn't have the cute double doors. Doesn't make you feel like, you know, you're opening something luxurious, but it gets the job done. So I can stand up my 20 ounce tumblers and my 30 ounce tumblers straight up. To stand up the 30 ounce tumbler, well, I don't even put the tray in all the time. You just take out that bottom tray and your tumbler will stand up perfectly inside of that convection oven. And I absolutely love it. So I just want to, as a side note, y'all know I be going on side notes. I'm so sorry, y'all, but I just go on side notes all the time. So with the convection ovens, if you are using shrink wrap with your tumblers, 
make sure that you have silicone at the bottom of your convection oven or silicone on your uh, baking sheet, just because that shrink wrap is going to melt on your oven. It will melt, okay? And another thing, I know sometimes we don't say, we say use shrink wrap and if you have a small image, so let's say, let's say I was subbing, don't pay attention to the other part. Let's say I just wanted to sub onto this tumbler. I just wanted to sub this circle, okay? The circle with the stuff inside, nothing else. So if I'm going to sub this circle, I may possibly try to save some of that paper, some of the sublimation paper to reuse it. I, I would. So I'll probably cut around the circle and then take the image onto the tumbler. Well, when you take your image onto the tumbler, you're still exposing the rest of your tumbler, the steel. Because remember, you're only putting this image on. So you have to, if you are using shrink wrap, you have to wrap your tumbler with either a plain piece of paper. So once you put your image on, like once you tape it down, put another piece of paper on top and then just wrap it around to make sure your tumbler is fully covered and protected. And then put the shrink wrap on and shrink wrap it on too. If you don't do that, nine times out of 10, that shrink wrap is going to bake into your tumbler. And you don't want that. So you usually just have to kind of just um, sand it. The only way you sand it down and you turn it into like, I usually, well, I don't have it happen, but when something goes wrong, turn it into an epoxy tumbler. Don't throw those tumblers in the garbage. First of all, tumblers cost too much to be throwing them away. And these tumblers are still excellent tumblers. Like you can still drink from them. It still keeps your liquid cold or hot. So don't throw them away, just repurpose them. All right, so let's move on to the winner of the convection oven. Cause y'all know I be talking and I, I just said that I had to go. I just said that I was tired. I just said I had to ship out some stuff. I had all this, I have the graduation in the morning and I'm just rambling and y'all just let me ramble. So for the convection oven, the winner is M. Duker. So again, send me a email on Facebook or through Craftable Things, you can find me on Craftable Things. I am, when you click into the intro or about, it's gonna be, you'll see me, you'll see Brie, don't send Brie, don't bother Brie, just because Brie does, Brie and Chrissy, they already do a lot. And I don't know what I would do without them. I don't know where that group would be without them, honestly. So make sure just send me an email. And sometimes when you send me an email on Facebook, it goes to my spam and where you have to like message requests or something like that. And I'm really bad at checking that. I'm really bad at checking it, but I will definitely make sure that I remember to check it over the weekend. So if you see this and you're not here in the live, just go ahead and send me a quick email there and I will get that convection oven to you. All right. So for the next giveaway prize, that is going to be the Cricut Mini Press. And I love my Cricut Mini Press. I've told y'all that before. And the winner is Judy Helton. So congratulations, Judy. Please make sure that you contact me, the same thing. But Judy is going to have the Cricut Mini Press. So if you won um, any of the prizes, I am getting those prizes out ASAP. So please, please, please contact me as soon as possible. By probably by Wednesday, if not Monday, they will be out to you. Okay, so just definitely uh, let me know. All right, y'all. So y'all know that I love Five Below. Um. Yeah. I love Five Below because there's so many different things in Five Below. And I know I always talk about Five Below for finding things to sublimate. And as I told y'all in the other video, do not count on those items for your inventory. If you're doing something seasonal, th because they switch out their products quite often. And so you don't want to get stuck where you have a, a good seller and you're just like, oh, okay, I'm going to put a lot of time into this one item, getting this sold and 
then they take it off of the shelf. But definitely for seasonal things, I like to give gifts with it, like with stuff from Five Below. I like to make cute little shirts um, for my daughter and for my friend Thea. She wear all my all my shirt, y'all. All that stuff that I make when I'm doing these videos, these Five Below videos, it usually goes to my friend Thea because I don't want to waste it. I give stuff to my students, but because of COVID, I haven't been able to really like give them as much stuff as I, I usually do when I'm making things. So it is what it is. But we are on to five below. Let's see what five below is going to pull for us. So five below, the winner for five for the five below $50 gift card is Angel, Angel M. Todd. So Angel M. Todd, please reach out. Congratulations. Thank you so much for commenting. All right, and next. So the last prize that I've already, remember guys, this is the last prize that I'm gonna announce as far as um, the rules and everything. There are three other prizes. I just say three. There are three other, well, not other, but they're going to be the same, but somebody will have a chance to get one of those prizes. One of you guys here in the live. I only think it's fair that if you took out time to come here with me in the live and say hey to me and talk and chat and yeah, I only feel that it's right that I do a giveaway during this time. So again, I'm going to be giving away ink and paper. Dynamic and honestly speaking, I'm also going to give away a Cricut mini press and a one to one session. I did get a lot of people who went over to the vlogging channel and entered into that giveaway for the one to one session. So thank y'all so much for going over there and joining me on Patrice L. I really appreciate it. So let's see who is the winner for the one-to-one. -one. That is going to be Jessica Godfrey. So congratulations, Jessica. Thank you so much for going over to the other channel and commenting and yeah, thank you. I really, 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 really appreciate it. So those are our winners for the actual giveaway that you know with those rules but now y'all we are about to go into nightbot and i am going to select three of you guys for those items that i said before so let me see so i am trying to think over the summer i will probably do a few more lives or I still plan on doing crafts and combos on Friday nights, but maybe y'all know I'm off during the summer. So uh, y'all, they tried to get me to come to summer school to work summer school. I was like, definitely no, I'm not working summer school. I need a break. But nonetheless, I do plan on us maybe doing like some Zoom sessions or something like that over the summer. And the one-to-ones will be about um, just, I wanna see what, what, what you want to talk about, what your goals are and where you see yourself and what, how can I help? Like what information do I have that I can help you achieve those or at least get started with where you wanna be, where you see yourself and what's in your heart, like what, what you wanna do. I do believe like you have to do something that you you love, like that you want to do. I know for most of us, crafting has become a business and we make money from crafting, but there is a love for crafting. I don't know any person who makes things with their hands and who crafts who doesn't love it. It's intrinsic. So that's what it has to be. Sandy, yeah, no. No, no summer school. I don't want to see a school in the summer. All right, guys. So let's get started. So I'm about to D 
do, I'm about to go on Nightbot. I'm going to share my screen and then we are going to choose the next three winners. And the same thing applies. Let me put my email address up. Well, yeah, let me put it up on the screen. And all you have to do is send me an email if you win, because y'all, I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to end the live like almost right after. I have a few pressing situations. All right, so this is the email that you wanna send to. If you prefer to send me an email through Facebook, that is perfectly fine. That's actually how I prefer to be contacted is through Facebook because Emailing sometimes, like sometimes anybody can send me an email and say, hey, I'm such and such. A lot of times I, when you send me an email, I can kind of look at the name and see the name and know who it is. But you know, people be out here doing all types of stuff. So I would prefer if you send me something on Facebook. But if you don't have Facebook, I the reason why I allow this is because I don't want to eliminate anybody who doesn't have a Facebook. That's not, I don't think that that's cool. So let's get started because y'all know I'll keep talking and talking and talking. All right, let me see who, did I miss anybody? I don't, I'm just going through. Oh, hey, Best Uni. Hey, Josephine. Josephine, I didn't know you were here. Hi, girl. Hi. Hi, Yamira. Okay, now I got to go up and look at, at I'm sorry, y'all, but I got to tell, tell everybody, hey, 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 hey. And I made a shirt, especially for tonight. It says 20K and it says thank you. And it has the Craftable Things logo. Oh, Lakia, prayers for your surgery. Y'all having whole conversations. I'm missing out on the good stuff. Talking about these prizes. Let me see. Let me see what I'm what I've missed. I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you, Josephine. Again, like I told y'all before, go check out Josephine's channel, The Best Uni. She tries out so many things. It's still a video that I have. I I went. I watched the video that she did on um, subbing on to Holographic. Josephine, what did you sub on? The Holographic HTV, right? I think it was the Holographic HTV. And I went and bought up all the Holographic HTV that I could find. I went to Michael's. Cricut brand has like a few um, Holographic HTVs. And I think that's the one that she tried was the Cricut brand. Then I went to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had like Holographic stuff that... I just haven't had a chance to do it. So if you want to try, oh, she's, she had the Caesar one. So if you want to try, hi, Judy, you won one of the prizes, the mini press. So can you send me an email or I prefer, if you have Facebook, if you're in the Facebook groups, just send me a message on Facebook, okay? And I will be able to just, all you have to do is send me a message on Facebook. I'll send you, send me your address and I'll send it to you. But hey, Judy. So she was able to sub and it came out really, really nice. So she said that it's Caesar, the Caesar brand of holographic um, HTV. Because y'all know Cricket has iron on, H it's not HTV, it's iron on. And Caesar, everybody else has HTV. So yeah, definitely check her out because you will learn something. She tries so many things. And you just, you learn how to do different things too. All right, let me go back. I'm going to share my screen because we are going to do this last giveaway. Now for this giveaway, I don't know. Give me, give me a little bit of feedback. So do you guys just want to put something in the comment or do you want like how I did the giveaway? I don't even know. This just literally just came to me when I started this. So what do I put? Let me see. Uh, okay, so we are going to, in order to get into this giveaway, 
you are going to have to comment 20K. Let me put on the board or on the screen. I'm sorry, I'm thinking I'm still in school talking about putting something on the board. Mm -mm. I need to unplug from that mindset. All right, so in order to have an entry into this part of the giveaway, you have to put in 20K. Now, if you already won a, a, a prize tonight, then you cannot get anything in now because these are the same things. So we're giving away a set of dynamic ink and honestly speaking sublimation paper. We're also going to give away, I think another Cricut mini press. Is that what I said y'all? A Cricut mini press and a one-to-one -one session with me. Okay, so everybody who has already won, Angel M. Todd won the Five Below gift card, M. Duker run the convection oven, Kathy Fugate won the ink and the paper, Judy Helton won the mini press, and Jessica Godfrey won the one-to-one -one session with me. That's all, those are the winners for that giveaway. So in addition, because y'all decided on a Friday night to come and spend some time with me today, I feel that it's only right for me to give to y'all who are here online. So we are going to start with the dynamic ink and honestly speaking sublimation paper. Let me see if I can, I just gotta make sure that I do the right thing. Cause y'all know I barely, y'all know I always, start something and I always get it going and something happens wrong and I have y'all waiting for like 15, 20 minutes. I always have these great ideas and they don't be so great, but y'all still, y'all are right. Y'all are all right. Even though I be putting in, putting stuff the wrong way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to give Everybody, a few seconds to put in 20K. Let me share my screen because it should be getting on soon. Where is it? Where is it? All right, there we go. So I am going to get ready to press. This is for the dynamic ink and so Anybody who puts in 20K, this is going to be for I, for any of those three, the ink and the paper, the mini press, and the one-to-one -one session with me, okay? So, I don't know, that I, I think that sounds like a um, drum roll. I try, I'm not a drummer though. I actually have no rhythm. All right, y'all. So we are on our screen. We are getting ready to, uh -oh, let me go down. We are getting ready to do the giveaway and this is going to be for the dynamic ink and honesty speaking sublimation paper. Let's see. Drum roll. Oh. So the winner is then teacher chick she won the dynamic ink and the honestly speaking sublimation paper congratulations sin all right now wait let me write this down because i i forget sin can you send me a send you send me an email send me an email on my um to that website to that email, Patrice at Craftable Things, okay? Sin, I see this face of you. Sin, I see the face. I see the face. I see the face. All right. No, thank, girl, thank you for being, be, for, for all of you who are here who have like your own channels and your own businesses, like it's really an honor that you stop by to hang out with me. Thank you so much. Like that means a lot to me. I mean, because I know how it is on a Friday night. You have orders. This is graduation season. It's all types of things going on. So thank you. 
All right, so we are about to go into the second prize, and that is going to be the Cricut Mini Press. Let's see who wins this one. And it's Kenya Johnson. Kenya Johnson won the mini press. And we are going to do one more. And this one is for us to chill out for like an hour or so or whatever. Whatever it is that you want to talk about related to crafting, business, YouTube, Etsy, designing, it's whatever you want is, is really what we're going for. So here we go. And the winner is Coretta Dangerfield. All right, Coretta. Congratulations, Coretta. We get to hang out. Let me see, Dangerfield. Sorry, y'all. I have to write this stuff down because I don't go back and look at my videos. I, I, I start like cringing and saying what I should have did differently. So I don't look at my videos. So I have to write them down. So congratulations, Sin, Kenya, and Coretta. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this live. I appreciate it. And I'm back. So that's it, y'all. I got I got so much stuff to do. I gotta send out these um these orders and some other stuff that I need to do. Does anybody have any questions or anything for me before we leave? Before you guys go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will probably come back on sometime. Y'all know I usually do my lives on Friday nights, but I may come back on sometime this week or early next week because I I said that I was going to sign in last week on Monday, I think, and do a live or Sunday, and I didn't do it because I was just being very lazy and a tired person. And so I'm so sorry about that because I know I had a few of you email me like, did I miss the live? I'm so, 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 so sorry. But um, I promised to make it up. We'll probably do something. Thank you, Four Corners. You too. Thank you, Yamira. Yes, congratulations, everyone. Make sure that you send me. I'm going to put up my email address. If you don't have a Facebook, um, and if you are not in our Facebook group, I really do encourage you to sign into Facebook and click onto that join craftable things group little button and join us there. Our, it, not just because it's craftable things, but we have an amazing group and there are some amazing people in our group. Everybody is so helpful and I'm really, really thankful for that. Thank you, Lorraine. I saw, okay, so I saw the Tumblr press, and y'all, I'm this close to getting it. Somebody in our group posted the picture, posted a picture of them using this Tumblr press. Now, there's a company that has been reaching out to me about their Tumblr press, and they're in Alibaba. Oh, Leah. Why are you so sweet? Let me tell you, you guys are, I really have, I know this is all fun and just, when you get like when you have a certain amount of views and you have certain subscribers and you're a YouTuber, you make a few dollars doing YouTube, not even a few dollars. Like you can make a nice living from YouTube and that's all great. But honestly, y'all, I have made some really, really good friends and I've never physically met y'all. And that's what, I'm, I'm so serious when I tell you guys that I, as a person, have, like, changed because of y'all. Like, I feel like a spark. I've always liked to craft. I've always liked to make things. But 
I was always a little bit unsure. I didn't want people to see what I did, not because I didn't want to share because I would share anything, but I just didn't, I didn't feel like it was good enough or that it was good. And sometimes things aren't good enough, but guess what? It's okay. It's okay for you. And that's what I have learned that it's okay. So I just want to thank you guys for, I have people, if I don't go on the group or if I don't post the video, people send me emails. Are you okay just checking on you? Like, how, my own friends don't do, well, some of them do. But most of them know that I am pretty much, I used to be a loner. I, and I'm still kind of, kind of is, but you guys are, y'all are amazing. And I'm really, really, really grateful and thankful. That is the best part of reaching 20K subscribers is finding all of those gems and diamonds in that 20K. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. I love when y'all tell me I've done something wrong or I need to change or I get fussed at about wearing my heat gloves. And of course it's easy to be like, uh-uh, how you tell me that? But that's because you care. Like who wants somebody burning themselves? So thank you so, so, so very much but that's it y'all i gotta go i gotta go get um some rest for this graduation that i gotta be to 7 30 in the morning and ship this stuff out and i'll probably be around so it uni if you go on live or shakia if you did if you go on live if any of y'all go on live you know i'm probably gonna be hopping on <laughs> while i'm in bed watching TV. So thank you guys. Love y'all. See y'all next time.